All right, so uh, so we're doing episode number two, Woo, two. of uh, of shipwrecked. That's right. Where me, Pirate Stu, and Princess Morgan talk about stuff that we would probably only talk about if we were stuck together on a deserted island, um, shipwrecked. So anyway, so last time we started talking about British food. So we, we were talking about how a biscuit isn't really a biscuit like you would have with biscuits and gravy. It's like a cookie, right? Like right. a nutty nutter butter. Yeah, or it's whatever kind of shaped like a biscuit, but it's kind of yeah, cookie-ish, real sh sweet. Yeah, and so uh, and then of course they got um, hot dogs or sausage, which are not hot dogs or sausage, but are bangers. That's right. That's right. Uh, I know that one. Uh, that might be all I know. And then they have the the meat pies that have all these layers, and they have things that we would never put. Is that like in a like chicken pot pie? pie? No, I don't know what they call them. I'm not real big on British food. I'm well, just big you on wanted to have a whole episode on British food, no, and now just... you decide you don't know anything about British food. <laughs> well, it made me this hungry. This is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, the, but it's goodness. weird the things that they put in in food and they have the stupid song about the weird? birds in a now, pie now the irish they put weird things in food because they put like sheep intestines and yeah no that's really weird. or sheep organs and sheep intestines but they probably and, think we put weird stuff in our food yeah well so what do the british use i i heard british food is boring well, so i think so but i i don't know i haven't so what's got the weird to go stuff to british that they, i think that we should go to britain and <laughs> episode two shortest episode ever <laughs> No, I'm not done, but I think we should sometime go to Britain and have an episode in Britain. We could have like the royal family be our guest. We could try all kinds if of things. If we British get really food. famous, everybody like these videos and share them and all that sort of stuff so we can become really famous and then we can go to Britain, England or whatever. See, that's the other thing. I, I don't know what the heck it's called. Is it England? Is it Great Britain? Is it the United Kingdom? It's crazy. They got too many names for it. So now, I know, I know we're no better. Part. We're like, we got the United States. We got the U.S. We got America. Land of the Free. I don't know. Whatever. But I don't know, but you get really sidetracked. They got too many names. Like, we go from one subject to the other subject to the other subject. I don't think I do that. I've been on this on this desert island too long i'm going crazy <laughs> it's not been that it's long it's only episode number two i think my husband could probably say that it took him just a little bit longer before he went crazy yeah okay so all right so back to the food yeah. is that where we're going yeah, back so to i want to talk about those the meat pies and why they have weird stuff in them i asked you what I mean, was like weird in like the meat cream. pies and you said you didn't know well i don't really know but i know that it's weird I, I do oh I know what uh, their pudding is not like like oh yeah pudding pudding it's like, like bread it has pudding. bread in it it's bread pudding yeah that doesn't even Which sound is actually, good well no actually it's pretty good you've never had bread pudding I don't think so oh bread pudding warm mm, wonderful I've had scones scones and I've had but I asked you last episode if scones were British and you said you weren't sure. Well, I think they are. But you're are. bringing them up again. <laughs> that's because that's what I had when I ate for the royal wedding. <laughs> to me, they are. But did the did anybody else in Britain or England or the UK or? Okay, so if y'all are out there, you guys could help us tell us more about this British food because obviously we don't know. We, no. I guess we but, need somebody you know, to be shipwrecked with that, us. That's like, not going to stop us from talking about it. <laughs> a British chef would be really good. He could tell us what they eat. Yeah, they have tea, so there's like high well, but tea. Their tea, I think, is the same as our tea. It's just tea. But they have it at certain times. And what is the difference between well, high tea and regular tea? Do you know? Cannabis oil. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, I just got cannabis it. oil. High tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. So. We probably need to go to a different topic because oh, my oh, British oh. favorite. I, I know the other the one of the most famous was chips. Oh yes, fish chips are chip. not potato chips. They're made out of potatoes, but they're French fries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but we really eat those here. Well, we eat them here. It's just we call them something different, like a biscuit and a cookie and a cracker. They're different things. I like the way they talk in Britain. I think biscuits are also crackers, aren't they? Or what do they call a cracker? I don't know. I can tell you who falls where in the line of the royal family. But that's it. Okay, so so have we exhausted the, the the topic of 
British, British food. food. Yeah, now I would really like to eat some British food. Why I hear it's it's not very good. <laughs> well, but I, then we could talk about it better if like I ate it and then we tried it. And and I would be suspicious of eating British food all the time because their teeth are all horrible. But so it has to be the food or the water or something. I don't know. What makes their teeth all bad? British are no notorious for having bad teeth. I don't know. I think you're insulting like a whole bunch of people. That well, I probably am, but I'm on a desert island, so shipwrecked with you, and what does it matter? Uh, well, probably to the people in Britain who think that they have nice teeth. Well, they have better teeth now, but notoriously, I you know, British actors and stuff back in the seventies. And I mean, look at look at uh, what's his face uh, with the. You know the the movie where he was the British guy, um, <laughs> Austin Powers. Yeah, yeah, Austin Powers, right? Well, that was a he, he, movie. He, yeah, but he wore a prosthetic to make his teeth look bad, so he would look British. It's it's known that hmm. it's British. It's a stereotype. I'll give you it's a stereotype, but I'm just saying that they're known for having bad teeth. I didn't know that. So I learned something. You're, I have learned what? something on shipwrecked because I did not know that at all. I don't. The royal yeah, family. You know, he they goes, have yeah, nice baby, teeth. and he, he smiles and he's got all, like, all nasty teeth. But he was goofy. I just thought it was to make him more goofy. No, it's to make him look British. Oh, I see. That went over my head. Ah, way up, way up here. All right. So, are we ready to transition to episode three? Sure. All right. Tune in for episode three. I think it'll be better. It has to be. This is horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. <laughs>